Fear Le Greco, can you talk about your uh, performance tonight? Uh, it was uh, just uh, a regular performance, you know, it was nothing uh, out of the extraordinary, you know, the opponent was a late sub, he had a fight for, he was going to fight somebody else, but then we, we were able to pick him up because I was supposed to fight someone else that um, didn't pass the eye exam, so... And, you know, it was a good opponent. He showed a lot of heart. He hit me. I got knocked down. I got up, and then I, you know, pretty much broke him down until the seventh round. And he, even if they were complaining about the stoppage, it was just a matter of time. Well, yeah. Well, you could talk about um, being in that first round is always the most dangerous round. Could you just talk about what happened in that round? Uh, too relaxed. I went in there. You know, it happened to me even in Atlantic City in April. I got knocked down the first round. I got up. I, you know, I'm a relaxed fighter. I think next time I'll uh, I'll be more cautious and uh, keep my hands more up. And but but you up. but you got up and you won the fight like you always do. You're still undefeated. Can you talk about your resilience to you know get up off the canvas? And... I was relaxed, calm. I wasn't uh, you know a lot of fighters they fight, but I knew it was just a matter of time. I warmed up properly. You know, I get a couple rounds and I felt those punches. And what, one thing that I have is great conditioning, and I think I showed it tonight. Yeah. Now, what, what is your goal? Just moving forward, last question. What, what is your goal for the next year? Well, I know a good friend of mine. He's also the WBA champ, Paulie. Malnagy's looking to fight Ricky Hatton. So why not if Ricky Hatton comes here and fight Paulie, or fight the brother, and it could be Italy versus England type of thing. Or anybody, you know, WBO. I'm ranked by all three belts, so anybody, it doesn't really matter. I want to take the next step. I think that's what I need to really get, get up in the morning, go to the gym and say, oh man, if I don't fight, if I don't train, I'm going to get my ass whipped. And, you know, fighting a guy at this level, it wasn't, you know, it's not my fault they presented this type of fighter, but he didn't have he, a bad record. It wasn't just decent, but he never been stopped. So I wanted to accomplish that at least, you know. All right. Thank you. Thank you.